Hey everyone, it's Chef of the Dead, and today we are taking a look at Hadi, the brand new addition to the hero roster, and he is deadly. This character is already one of my favorites, only shortly after release, since his kit is just that much fun to use. His first skill is called Mechanical Arm, and activating it will fire a grab attack with a 25 meter range with gold focus after the startup. Since you don't gain that gold focus immediately, I don't recommend trying to use it defensively as a soft combo breaker, since you'll likely be interrupted, but that does not mean it doesn't have plenty of uses. First of all, it functions as a combo starter, and unlike similar skills, the initial grab doesn't actually count as a stagger. That means you can perform your combos as you normally would from neutral, toothpick combos like this one included. Mechanical Arm really is a fantastic combo tool that proves very worth using for pretty much every weapon. The grab offers some great counterplay to certain abilities, one being against Tumultuous skill, where with the proper timing and aim, you can grab him before he's able to throw the wisp, completely reversing the pressure. It's also a hard counter to Yodo's third skill that blocks all melee attacks, you can just grab her right out of it for a combo. His second skill, Mechanical Arm Blast, is the much safer and more defensive option, with it being able to be used under attack, and acting as a great repositioning tool. Activating it will knock enemies back and blast Hadi into the air, immediately deploying a glider that you can fly manually. My favorite thing about this skill is that it can be cancelled early, which gives you the opportunity to take the enemy off guard with an attack. If you cancel it with a jump, you can go right into an aerial attack, or if you hold dodge, you can begin charging focus to immediately put the pressure back on the opponent. Although, if you're low HP and you'd rather run away for a reset, putting that glider to use and trying to round a corner or get some distance to grapple away is a great use of the skill too. It doesn't have as complex interactions as the first skill does, but it's a really strong defensive ability that will not disappoint. Hadi has one of those ultimates that as soon as you see it in the trailer, you know it's going to be a blast to use. His first ultimate is Aerial Ascent, and upon activation, you get launched into the air, spreading a pair of mechanical wings that grant you flight for up to 25 seconds and access to a special moveset. Hadi's Plume Blade has a light attack chain of 2, so no 1-2-3 combo, but you do have access to a 3-stage charge attack. Each stage provides progressively more damage, and landing any of the charge attacks will combo into an additional 2 light attacks. While in flight, Hadi has the passive benefit of being uninterruptible by non-focus attacks, which makes his ultimate incredibly good at escaping for a reset, or simply skipping the escape part and just healing over the head of your opponent, since you can indeed heal while in the air, you just get a bit of a movement speed penalty. The biggest thing you have to worry about with Hadi's ultimate is blue focus. You have to be really careful with how you approach an enemy, because if you're not in that third charge state, focus attacks will interrupt you, and with enough damage, you'll be taken out of flight mode. Definitely keep in mind your spacing when trying to land hits with Plume Blade, because you are by no means invincible. You've probably noticed that the normal skill gets overridden while in ult, and activating it allows you to exit and enter flight mode, with each takeoff consuming 15% rage. This is where some really cool combo starting potential comes into play. If you land a basic attack with the Plume Blade, and you're close enough to the ground, you can actually exit flight mode and initiate a normal weapon combo. Some weapons will only soft combo out of the ultimate, which means the opponent will be able to use an ability to break out of it, so just keep that in mind. It's also important to note that Hadi's dodge gets turned into a fast air dash, which really helps close the distance on someone or run away quickly. The speed at which you can get away, plus the ability to heal while in the air, definitely makes this one of the strongest reset tools in the game. Despite how easily you can reset once the ult is active, you do have to keep in mind that it cannot be activated while under attack, so you have to be careful not to hold on to it for too long. Hadi's second ultimate, Aerial Ascent Blaze, shares all the same passives, with the added benefit of the stage 3 charge attack applying a burn. Burn eats away directly at HP, which has a lot of value, but it does come at the caveat of a slightly reduced uptime at 20 seconds. I feel like those 5 seconds can make a big difference, so for that reason I do prefer the first ultimate so far. As for the talents that I recommend, for solos I'd definitely say go for a full stamina build that looks something like this. I tend to run 4 skill cooldown and 2 grapple distance, but using any combination of those for the bottom glyphs is fine. If you're playing team modes though, it can be really useful to incorporate some rage gain into your build, but as a general rule of thumb, just make sure you can still dodge 3 times in succession. Cultivation is how you'll unlock the second skill and ultimate, and if you want to see exactly how to do it, all you have to do is click here and you can view the necessary tasks. These are super easy to complete, so after giving his first abilities a shot, you'll have the second variations in no time. 
Before I wrap up, I'll just mention a few counters to look out for, with one of the strongest ones actually being an ultimate that you don't see very often, and that's Akos' third ultimate. Even though it looks like Hadi would be able to fly right out of the top, he actually can't, which makes it a much harder counter than Tumulch's ultimate, which can be flown over and out of. Although, Tumulch's Zephyr Wisps will be able to stagger Hadi out of flight mode, unless he's reached the gold focus state, which can be pretty strong. Faria's cannon shots with her mech also pose a threat, stunning Hadi for a short time and dealing a sizable chunk of damage to his wings, potentially knocking him out of flight. Tessa is another one to look out for, since not only will the enchanted effect take you out of flight mode, but the initial hit will as well. Justina is also a decent counter, because even if you're charging an attack while in the air, unless you've reached the gold focus state, you will be frozen. Leaving out those characters, Hadi has a lot of really favorable matchups and counterplay of his own, and we'll be getting a much deeper look at that in the coming weeks as the meta settles. That's about it from me though, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in a game.